Hello everyone, this is Gadisha and today's topic is control of gene expression in prokaryotes. So here we are going to cover basic concepts about regulation of transcription and operons. So today we will go through this topic. The first discovery of gene regulation system was in 1961 by Francis Jacob and Jack Smollett for lac operon. So gene expression is regulated at the level of transcription and extracellular signal leads to change in gene expression. Why it is necessary? So respond as rapidly as possible to environmental changes to survive and for quick adaptation to new conditions in case of prokaryotes in their growing medium and also to save energy. So the patterns of gene expressions are constitutive, inducible and repressible. What is constitutive expression? A host gene expression is not regulated, products are in constant demand and gene products are usually essential for cellular functions. Inducible expression. Inducible genes are turned on in response to an appropriate signal and for repressible expression, repressible genes are turned off in response to an appropriate signal. Remember, inducible and repressible gene products are only required under circumstances, uh, certain circumstances. So why doesn't the cell just leave all its genes on all the time? So the right enzymes are always there to take care of any eventuality. The reason is that the gene expression is an extensive process and it takes a lot of energy to produce RNA and protein. Here it is showing that how a gene structure looks like having a promoter gene, operator gene and structural gene. So in the promoter region, RNA polymerase binds. In the operator region, repressive molecule binds. And structural genes are a group of different genes that code for specific proteins. Here also showing that in the DNA portion where regulatory proteins are the, they bind promoter region for RNA polymerase, operator region and the structural genes that code for mRNA which encodes multiple proteins. You have to remember for prokaryotes they are uh, polycystronic that means from one single molecule of mRNA they can produce multiple proteins. So here it is showing the basal transcription where you can see RNA polymerase can bind to the promoter region and there is activator binding site. Now when an activator molecule bind to the activator region, activation of transcription happens and when there is an repressor molecule, no transcription will happen. Now activation of transcription can happen when an activator molecule sit next to the RNA polymerase and activate the transcription. What if an activator molecule set many KBs uh, far away from the RNA polymerase. In that case, a DNA bending protein will be there which will bind to DNA and help in bending the DNA so that the activator molecule now in close proximity to the RNA polymerase and can activate transcription. Now coming to positive and negative control of gene expression. So when repressive molecule inhibit gene transcription, that is called negative regulation and when then bound activator activate transcription called positive transcription or coming to the negative regulation transcription on. Here is the regulatory molecule and here is the signal molecule. You have to remember that the regulatory molecule is a repressor here. So when signal molecule binding to regulatory protein making a regulatory protein to dissociate from the promoter. Now transcription can happen and mRNA can be made. In this case transcription is on. Next condition negative regulation transcription off. Here the signal molecule binding to regulatory protein making the regulatory protein to bind to the promoter. Now transcription cannot happen because the regulatory molecule is a repressor and mRNA cannot be made. Next case is positive regulation transcription on. Here you see the regulatory molecule is an activator. 
So when the signal molecule binding to the regulatory protein, making regulatory protein bind to the promoter, thus activate the transcription and mRNA is made. In case of positive regulation transcription of uh, the signal molecule binding to regulatory protein, making regulatory protein to dissociate from the promoter. Now transcription cannot happen and mRNA is not made. There are some suggested ratings. Thank you for watching this.